Good morning, boys and girls. Let's get ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 51. Today you're going to need Worksheet 51, a pencil, your alphabet strip, your letter tiles, and you also need your spelling list. Okay? All right, the standard for today's lesson says that the student will demonstrate understanding of spoken words, syllables, and sounds. The student will distinguish long from short vowel sounds in spoken single syllable words. The student will orally produce single syllable words by blending sounds, including blends. Um, the student will isolate and pronounce initial, medial vowel, and final sounds in one syllable words. The student will segment spoken one syllable words into their complete sequence of individual sounds. You'll just break it down into the sounds. Okay? Our essential question says, how do I orally produce single syllable words by blending sounds, including using consonant blends? All right, let's get out our alphabet strip and read the alphabet. Read with me, get ready. Put your finger on the initial letter. Initial means what? At the beginning, that's right. Get ready. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. What's the final letter of the alphabet? If A is the initial letter, what's the final letter? Tell your study buddy. Z, that's right. Okay, what are, what is um, all the letters in the middle? What do we call those? Those are called medial letters, medial letters. Yeah. All right, now all the letters that are not read up here are what kind of letters? Consonants, they're consonants. What are the red ones? The red ones are Vowels. Let's read the vowels. Get ready. A, E, I, O, and U. Now, vowels have at least two sounds, okay? Long sounds and short sounds. All right. Now, let's skip the letter tiles for the moment and let's review our rules. All right. Um, whenever we're going to spell a word that ends with K, we use digraph CK if it comes after a short vowel, as in black. Duck, lock. If we hear k after a consonant or a vowel digraph, we use plain old k. It, and we use ke if it comes after a long vowel because then that makes that gives us a sneaky e. Broke, like, make. All right. Repeat after me. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Coat it with a brief. An open, accented vowel is long. Coat it with a macron. All right, this is our rule card that shows us how to code a word that has a VCCV pattern. Um, if you have two consonants, uh, excuse me, if you have two vowels that are kind of spread out, you look between it to see if you have two consonants. If you do, you label it, divide between the two consonants, and then code each syllable because each syllable in a word has a vowel sound. So we've got to have that vowel in each syllable. All right, repeat after me. A vowel followed by a consonant and sneaky E is long. Code the vowel with a macron and mark out sneaky E. Hope, name, rule, theme. See, we crossed out the sneaky E in each example and then we put a macron over the vowel. Okay, repeat after me. A digraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. All right, now, when we're spelling k, um, at the beginning or in the middle of a word, this is how we do it. We use k before e, i, or y. C comes before a, O, U, or any consonant. Okay, let's stop right there for a second. All right, now, um, 
Let's listen to this word. Echo. Plastic. Plastic. Can you tell me how many syllables are in that word? Tell your study buddy. Let's clap it. Plastic. Plastic. Two syllables. All right. Now, if it's got two syllables, it's got two vowel sounds. Okay. Now, let me say this two different ways, and you tell me what sounds right. Do you say plastic or do you say plastic? Hmm? Which one sounds right? Do we say um, my water is in a plastic bottle or a plastic bottle? What do we say? We say plastic. We put the emphasis on the first syllable. Okay, so I said it louder, longer, and higher. When we say one syllable louder, longer, and higher than the other syllable, we are accenting that syllable. You know, when we talk about coding um, uh, an open vowel, let's go back. Uh, an open accented vowel, accented, that's the accent mark, is long, coded with a macron. All right, the accent is, this is the little accent mark. And we use that to show what part of the word we say, louder, longer, and higher. All right, if it's a one-syllable word, the only syllable that's in there is going to be accented. But when we have two-syllable words or more, then we have to figure out where the accent goes, okay? Um, almost every word in our English language has an accent. Even one-syllable words like me and go. We don't hear the accent on those words because the whole word is accented. But if a word has two or more syllables, we hear the accent because one syllable is louder, longer, and higher than the others. So let's try another word. See if you can hear the accent. All right? Uh, hold up or tell your study buddy if you hear the accent on the first syllable or the second syllable. Summer, summer, summer is my favorite time of year. Do we say summer or summer? We stress the first part of the word, don't we? All right, so the accent is on the first syllable. All right, let's do another one. Music, music. All right, is it on the first syllable or the second syllable? All right, if it was on the second syllable, it would sound like this, music, music, but that's not it. It's music. We say the first part of the word louder, longer, and higher than the last part, music. Okay, all righty. Now, let's go through our decks. Let me get my stuff here so I can sift through them right quick. Okay, get ready. Here we go. Digraph, do it with me. Digraph O O. Digraph S H Y X I consonant E E consonant E O consonant E U consonant E A consonant E W U Digraph E E, digraph N G, digraph T H, digraph C K, E, M, C, K, R, G, H, D, T, P, S, L, O, I. N, Z, A, B, F. Now we're into the keywords. Do them with me. Hook, uh. Tooth, ooh. Shark, sh. Yarn, y. Fox, x. Wagon, w. 
umbrella, uh, unicorn, you, cube, you, ring, ng, thimble, th, feather, the, fish, f, elephant, e, equal, e, Sh concrete, e, sheep, e, monkey, m, mm. balloon, b, kite, k, cat, k, duck, k, dog, d, sun, s, rose, z, zebra, z, rabbit, r, goat, g, hat, h, dime, i, icicle, i, inch, i, overalls, o, hose, o, octopus, ah, acorn, a, cake, a, apple, a, tent, t, nest, n, pig, p, lion, l, suffix, s, say it with me, we add it to a word to make it mean more than one. Suffix ing. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's happening right now. Suffix ed. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's already happened. Sight words. Read with me. Come. Some. Friend. The. Said. Who? Into. Do. To. You. Your. Color. What. From. Are. Of. There. There. Does. Goes. Been. Put. Want. Was. Where, to, done, one, sure, won't, don't, brought, fault, thought, bought, would, could, should, and one more, school. Okay. All right. Now. Echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same in the initial position. Echo jet, jump, joke. Jet, jump, joke. Tell your study buddy what you heard in the initial position of all those words. Mm -hmm. J. If you said j, you're right. All right, so let's check to see if this is a voiced or an unvoiced sound. J, j, j. I'm feeling a vibration. Okay. Is J a vowel or a consonant? Let me first show you the words. Whoops, i got to get back to it. Here we go. Jet, jump, joke. Now, we can see that J is the letter that begins all these words, so J must be the letter used to spell the J sound. Is J a vowel or a consonant? It's a consonant. That's right. Okay? Now, let's go to our letter tiles. All right. Let me clean up a little bit and make some space. All right. We're going to start with our new letter tile. Oops. J. All right. We're going to spell the word jam. Spell it with me. J. That's our new letter. J, A, M, J, M, Jam. All right, let's spell another one that begins with J. Let's spell Job, J, Ob. All right, J, A, B. Now, job, job, and one more. Let's
let's change one letter. We have job. We want it to be jab. So what letter do we need to change? Just the what? The vowel. The beginning sound is the same, and the final sound are, it's also the same. So we're just going to change the vowel. Jab. Let me find A. Ah, there we go. Now, jab. Okay? Now, um, I have a keyword for you to go with our new letter card, J. Um, this is a wide mouth container. They can be made from plastic or glass. And it's usually got a lid and you put food in it or some kind of liquid or something like that. Sometimes people even put cookies in them. What do you think it might be? Jar. J. So the keyword jar helps us remember the J sound because jar begins with J. All right, I've also got a sight word for you. Says. Now, if you see it like this, the word is say. What did you say? But when you add the S on it, it becomes says. That's why it's a key uh, uh, sight word. Um, says. She says she likes to read. Says. Okay. All right, now let's do some practice with the coding that we're going to do on our paper today. All right, let's code these phrases or sentences, whatever we have. All right. Uh, now, you know that whenever we code a word, we've learned several suffixes now, so we need to remember, look for a suffix first. All right, and here's our first word. I see ED, so I'm going to cover it up. Oh, yeah, that's a word. That's a root word. So this goes in a box. And then I'm finished with it. I don't have to code that vowel in that box. But I do need to code this vowel. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a breed. Let's sound out this word. Melt. Melt. All right, ED makes it mean something that's already happened. So you, do you say melt to melt, melted, melted, melted. It's already happened. My ice cream melted. Okay. Now let's look at this one. Um, this one also has a suffix, ing, because if I cover it up, I still have the root word. A vowel followed by a consonant is short, coded with a breed. Here's a blend, and here's a blend. It's important to know these blends. All right, read with me. Fur, ah, oh, frost, frosting, frosting, frosting. All right, now let's read our phrase. Okay. Melted. Frosting. Okay. Now let's do the next one. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a bree. What's that word? B box. Box. This is a side word. We circle of. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a bree. Bull. There's a blend. Bull ink. Blank, box of blank. Okay, there's an S on the end. Yes, that's a suffix. Not always, but sometimes. Digraph OO, underline it. Now, K is an unvoiced sound, so we're not going to put a voice line here. B, U, K, S, or B, U, K, S. Books or books? Which is it? Books. All right, let's look. Box of blank books. Box of blank books. Okay, now let's do the last one. Okay, the last one begins with a sight word, so we circle it. Now, apostrophe S 
means that something belongs to someone. So we don't code the apostrophe S. This is someone's name. We're going to underline digraph SH. And we're going to put a macron right here. Because when we're coding, we don't take into account that we have apostrophe S. So that makes it a long vowel. Put sh a chaise. All right, but now that does need a voice line. Put chaise what? Let's see. All right, that's a vowel. That's a vowel. These might be consonants. Sure enough, they are. Divide it between the consonants. Code the vowel. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. This is an open accent vowel. Code it with a macron. What's this word? B an banjo. 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 All right, and then this is a sneaky E word. Ear. Here. Let's read the sentence. Put Shay's banjo here. Now, that one has a period at the end because it's a complete sentence. It's a complete thought. Okay? Now, let's go to our worksheet and put your pencil on number one. response for I. All right, it's I consonant E comma I. Number two, echo D. D. Write the spelling response for D. It's just D. Number three, echo E. Write the spelling response for E. All right, it's digraph, E, E, comma, E, final digraph, E, E. Oh, number four, my favorite one, echo, K, K. Let's do it together. K, comma, C, final digraph, C, K, comma, Oh, I forgot one, comma, K-E. And there's going to be one more, but we haven't got there yet. It's one of my favorites. Okay, number five, echo, w, w. Write the spelling response for w. Number six, echo, t, t, t. Number seven, echo, y, y. Well, think. What do you think? All right. It's a diagram. E. Mm. K. Think. Okay. Number 13. Echo. J. J. Write the letter that says J. Okay. Let me get my page turned here. Number 
14. Let's spell with the letter J, the J sound. All right? The first one we're going to spell, number 14, is job. We spelled that with our letter tiles. J. Ah. B. Job. Number 15. Ooh, this one has a suffix. Jumping. Jumping. My grandchildren like jumping on the trampoline. All right? This one has a suffix. So first, let's spell the root word. Jump. J. Ing. We know ing is suffix. I N G. Jumping. See, it sounded like it was going to be hard, but it really wasn't. All right, and the last one. Just. Just. J. Just. Just. All right. Now let's code the first five words. Okay, I'm looking at a suffix right here. Let's put it in a box. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Now we're ready to read. Oh, and we can mark out the twin consonant. Jam, jam, and we've already done it. You say jammed or jammed. Jammed. She jammed her finger. Jammed. All right. See, uh, 18. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Sound it out. J -et jet. All right. Well, this looks like a picture of a jet. So we draw our line to it. All right. Here we have a sneaky E word. Mark out the sneaky E. Put a macron over the vowel. What's this word? Sound it out with me. J -o Joke. He can tell a funny joke. All right, this one has ing on the end, so let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a root word. Put ing in the box. Put a vowel, um, a vowel followed by a consonant is short. Cut it with a brie. So put a brie up there and mark out the last twin consonant. What's the word? Jog. Jog. In jogging. I should go jogging in the afternoons. Jogging. All right, number 21. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Sound out the word. Junk. Junk. Oh my goodness, everybody has some junk. Now, I want you to code these words by yourself. I'm looking at two words that have a suffix. And I see one that has a pattern. So code them. Do your best. All right, now let's look at the back. On the back, you're going to practice writing the letters. Then you're going to read this little passage. And you're going to read the question. And the, um, the question, there are two questions, three with this story. Oh, we're getting big. We're going to read the three questions. The first one, you write the answer in. The second one and the third one, you fill in the circle by the correct answer. How many times should we read the story? At least two, probably three. That way, you'll know what the story says. Now, remember, go through and circle the sight words and only code the words that you can't read without coding, okay? Because adults don't go around coding words. The point of coding is just to help us learn but once we learn then we won't have to do it anymore but for now we're still learning okay now let's read the words in the high frequency word box read with me says jump just done one sure okay now the next thing i want you to do is take out your spelling list fold it in half like a hot dog and let me call out the spelling words to you, and you write them down. All right, number one, sat, sat. She sat in the big comfy chair. Sat, sat, sat.
sat. Number th uh, two, dog. Dog. We, we really don't pronounce this word correctly. A lot of us say dog. I've got a dog at my house. But the, it should actually be pronounced dog. All right, let's sound it out. D. A. G. Dog. Okay, number three. Glad. I'm so glad you're doing this with me today. Glad. All right, we've got a blend at the beginning. Gl. Ad. Gl. Ad. Glad. Number four. Cost. How much does that toy cost? C. A. St. Now remember what comes before A, O, U, or any consonant. C. A. St. Number five. Milk. Do you like milk? Milk. Milk. Number six. Sock. 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 Two spaces for the letter, or for the sound. K. Sock. Okay. Number seven. Street. Now this blend has three letters at the beginning. St. R. St. R. E. T. St. R. E. T. Street. Number eight. Thank. Two letters say 